Sony is simply the best. There is nobody above Sony, I'm telling you. Like, you guys know this, there is nobody above Sony. Nobody else can beat Sony. Yeah. <laughs> it's simply just the way it is. Is this thing on? I oh, shucks. <laughs> I hope the Canon fanboys did not <laughs> hear that. But yeah, man, Sony is simply one of the best cameras. And the reason why I'm here today, actually, is to talk about the Sony a7 III versus the Canon EOS R. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Yeah, this welcome to my YouTube channel. If you have not subscribed, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button so that you'll actually get a notification every single time I drop a video, something like this. And also, yeah, hit the bell icon. I think that's the bell icon. That's the one that notifies you every time I drop an amazing video just like this one. Welcome again to the YouTube channel. Today, I will be talking about the Sony a7 III versus the, Co the, so the, the Canon, actually, which has been my favorite camera for such a long, long, long time. So I'm gonna be comparing the Sony a7 III versus the Canon EOS R, the two favorite cameras. And the reason why I'm comparing the two is because I'm at a little bit of a debacle right now. So I am currently using the Canon EOS R, which is the one I'm filming with right now, for. Probably two years ago, it was my dream camera. I couldn't live without that camera. I saw it on Peter McCann and every single photographer actually had the Canon EOS R. And the reason why I'm chatting to you guys today is because I actually want the Sony a7 III. I've used it a couple of times. In fact, more than enough times to be convinced that it is the camera that I need for myself. To make this easy, I'm gonna go through a comparison which I've read about online between the two cameras and you guys can help me decide if I should actually get another camera, which is a Sony a7 III. So let's go through the comparison of the two cameras. And you guys can definitely help me decide if I should get this camera. I'm gonna go through the specs of the cameras. So right out, out the gate, both cameras are, are actually uh, pro mirrorless cameras, and they are very much amazing at what they do. They are very much well known for their capabilities. So that one is definitely out the question. The EOS R was introduced in September 2018, and then when we go to the a7 III, that was launched in February 2018 also. So I think, you know, the only difference I think is six months between the two of them. Now, the Sony a7 III is a full frame camera. It comes at 24 megapixels. And, and so uh, the EOS R on the other hand comes in at 32 megapixels, which has actually got more megapixels. So that was one of the debates for me, which I was looking at. I was like, shucks, okay, the mega, mega, mega pixel difference is actually quite a huge. Um, but I don't think actually just yet I want to make up my decision because, you know, the Canon EOS R goes from iOS 100 and it goes up to 48,000 or 40,000. Um, and, you know, like uh, once it punches close to 8,000, it starts getting really, really, really shaky. But when you come to the A7 III, I mean, that punches even so much higher from my, from my ISO 100 to 52,000. And I've seen the, the A7 III performing such amazing work under low light. I mean, you know, just recently I was on a gig in PE and I was doing um, photos and uh, with my Canon EOS R and somebody else was using the a7 III. And it, you know, the room was pretty much dark. You know, I didn't want to use flash because they were using video. And I looked over at his settings and, you know, he was chilling at ISO 4000 and I was chilling at 10,000 to try and compensate for the light. And he even took it down, in fact, to 1,600 and the a7 III could handle it so much better. So looking at the two in terms of ISO and just low light capabilities, the a7 III wins outright. Let's talk lenses. The Canon EOS R has a lot of range of lenses. Unfortunately, their lenses are just so expensive. And that's the new lenses that they currently have now, which they launched with the mirrorless cameras. They're just so expensive, honestly. I've been online, I've tried to buy them so many times, and they're just so expensive. So the one thing you do need to do is that you need to actually put an adapter and have an RF lens on the camera. The Sony, on the other hand, takes uh, Sony E-mount lenses. And they're just a little bit more reasonable. I think they also have a quite a bigger range because the Sony a7 III can actually also take a Tamron, Tamron lenses. It can also take Sigma lenses. So in terms of the lenses, I think the Sony takes, you know, takes the cup once again because the lenses are much cheaper and you have more brands that you can play around with. So from Tamron, Sigma, and Sony lenses in one camera. 
When we talk about the screen, on the other hand, that's where also the, some of the differences come in. The Canon EOS R, on the other hand, has an articulating screen, which helps you to be able to get low angles and shoot high up and articulate your screen in so many other ways. And it really works because it's a hybrid camera that works brilliantly when you, you, know, when you need it for those um, strange angles for whatever you need it for. The other hand, on the Sony a7 III, it only has a flip screen. And you know, it's, it's a bit of a disadvantage, but I don't think it's so huge for me because the Sony a7 III just has one, has ticked so many boxes and it is primarily a video camera. On the other hand, the EOS R is a hybrid between the two, but I think it's very much stronger in photos. So my decision you know, between these two cameras is definitely going to be based on trying to get photo and video in one camera. At the moment, the EOS R does amazing, amazing work. I cannot fault it at all. If it were by me, I'd buy another EOS R, but just the low light capability just does not work for me. So, hey, those are the specs. I'm gonna go through more specs just now, just to take you guys through um, what these cameras can handle. When it comes to video, both cameras can shoot amazing 4K. I do though think that the EOS R has some cropping or something involved when it comes to the 4K. The other beautiful thing though with the Sony a7 III is that it shoots at 120 frames per second at high speed. That is super amazing. I know the EOS R crops it at 30, you know, 30 frames or it, it crops in a little bit once you start going to 120 frames per second. And that is a bit of a disadvantage for me. So the Sony a7 III wins outright when it comes to um, just the full shooting in 4K and, and, and 120 frames per second. The lucky thing is both cameras have built-in wireless. They also both have uh, weather-sealed bodies. When it comes to the verdict of which one would I choose between the two cameras, I really, really, really have to say that the Can Canon EOS R feels really good in my hand. The Canon menu is also very easy to actually navigate and understand. The buttons are very much easy. The EOS R, on the other hand, is just lacking somewhere because, you know, and I, I, perhaps it's because a7 III has gripped my attention so much on the few times that I have used it. Number one, because of its low light capability and just the amount of lenses I can actually put on it from different brands. As I said before, I've used both lenses um, at Cotton Fest. That was one event where I had both the lenses or both the cameras rather um, mounted up and ready to, to shoot. So on the Sony, I was actually using the a7 III and the 16 to 35 lens, and on the EOS R, I was using the 24 to 70 lens. And just the images were so much sharper on the a7 III, and I had so much variety. I mean, at night, I, I never, I, in fact, I didn't even use the flash at all, and that was the beauty of it for me. So I'm gonna need you guys to help me decide which camera should I get next. Should I get another? EOS R or should I get the Sony a7 III? To help me decide, please leave, leave, leave some comments below. Let me know which camera should I buy next. Should I buy the Sony a7 III or should I buy the Canon EOS R? And if you have not subscribed, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel by pressing the subscribe button, press the like button also. And hey man, smash, smash, smash the bell icon so you can receive notifications every time I drop a video just like this one here. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.